Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard which is about friends series. As you can see here, we are going to create different charts starting from horizontal bar chart, vertical stacked bar chart, box plots, word cloud, and different text sheets which will give us details for each episode. But before start creating our different charts, let's first explore our data set. As you can see here, when we import our CSV file, which is named Friends Dataset, we have nine fields and 236 rows. The link to download this dataset is available in description. And for the fields, the first one is the episode title. Next, we have description. So both of them have strings data type. Then we have the season number, the episode number, duration in minutes, the year, the director of the episode, total stars, and finally, we have total votes. In this dashboard, we are going to focus on three details. So the first one is the shading, the second one is the font, and the third one is the colors that we are going to use for the different charts. So right click format. For the shading, we are going to use the following color, which has the following code. So we have 743A37. This is for the shading, okay. For the font, we are going to select ink free and it will have the following color. Same thing, it has the following code. So we have F8E7D8. Okay. And we are going to use the same color for our charts, which is this color. So the first sheet will be about directors. So we are going to name it directors. Okay, same thing for the title, I'm going to use the same color, this color, put it in the center, bold, italic, and we select ink free. Apply, okay. So we drag and drop director into text. For the episode, we are going first to convert to dimension. Same thing for the season. We drag and drop episode into the size. And we select measure count. On automatic, we select text. And we get our word cloud. The bigger is the word, the higher is the number of the episodes. So we are going to format. Format title will add the border in the same color and same thing for the pane we add the border in the same color and we can select the entire view so like that we get our word cloud for different directors next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for total episodes by season so we duplicate this one we remove everything, we change the name to total episodes by season, okay, so drag and drop season into the rows, episode into the columns, and we select the count, so here we change it to automatic, and for the color, select our color. We press Ctrl key, we drag and drop the total into the label. Same thing for the label, we are going to change it into ink free, apply, OK. Now I'm going to format our sheet. So format for the workbook, we remove the grid lines and zero lines. Double click, we remove the title. Right click on season height field labels and we add our border. So right click format and we add the borders in our color. Same thing for the header, row divider and the column divider. So like that we get the total episodes by season. So same thing for the font in the worksheets. So it will have the following color. And we can put it, for example, in 10. All right. 
Next, we are going to create the vertical stacked bar chart for total votes by season and episode. So, duplicate this one. We name it total votes by season and episode, right? Okay. So, you remove everything. We draw again drop episode into the columns, total votes into the rows, and episode into the color. We can press Ctrl key and drag and drop the season into the label. Then hide the field labels. Double click on the axis and we remove the title. So we have the episodes from 1 to 25 and we have the seasons from 1 up to 10. We can increase the width a little bit and like that we get our final chart. Next we are going to create the box plots for total stars by season and episode. So duplicate this one and we just remove the two and we replace votes by stars. Okay. So remove everything, remove this one, remove this one. So drag and drop season into the columns, total stars into the rows. We can select box plots. We click on analysis and we disaggregate measures. We drag and drop the season into the columns. We select the entire view. So hide this one. We we'll double click on the axis, so we remove the title, and we don't want to include zero. Right click, edit reference lines, so the borders we put them in our color, and same thing in our color. We're going to fill it with brown, okay. And same thing, we can drag and drop the episode into the detail. For the colors, same thing, we select our color. So for example, when you go here, we have the episode 14, season 2, it has 9.4. Same thing in here, season 4, episode 21, and we have the total stars. One more thing that we can do is to drag and drop the episode title into the detail. So like that, we'll get both the episode number and the title with the total stars. Next, we are going to create the text sheets. So right click, duplicate. We remove everything. So we start by description. Drag and drop description into the label. Episode title into the filters. We select one, apply OK. Show filter. Customize, we remove all. Single value, drop down. Here we select automatic. We click on text. So we write here this description, right? And it will be. 12 bolt apply ok same thing for the text it will be in the center and like that we get our description we can also change the name in here to description ok so duplicate this one we select the season so copy ok so remove description, we hide the cart, we drag and drop season into text, we click on text, we paste season, we select everything in the center and we put it in 12, apply ok. We can also put it in bold, apply ok. So duplicate, we will have the episode, right? Copy, so remove season. 
we put the episode number, we click on text, we paste the episode, center, bold, 12, apply, ok. Next we have the year, so duplicate, we'll have the year, we copy, remove episode, we have year, same thing, click on text, we paste, put it in the center, bold, and 12, apply, ok, then we have duration in minutes, So duration in minutes, ok, remove the year, duration in minutes, paste, in the center, bold and 12, apply, ok. Then we have total stars, so remove, total stars. So we name it total stars, ok, click on text, we paste, in the center, bold, and we select 12, apply, ok, and the last one is total votes, so we have total votes, copy, Remove total votes, click, paste, the center, bold, and 12. Apply, OK. Just like that, we have our text sheets. Next, we are going to create our dashboard. So, click on new dashboard. For the size, it will be 1850. And for the height 1050, OK. Click on dashboard format, and for the shading, it will be in brown. For the font, we select our color, OK. Now we drag and drop the different sheets. We have directors, total episodes in here, total votes in here box plots in here next we add our image same thing you can find the link in the description just double click so fit image center image apply ok so put it like this same thing for this one put it like that Okay, now I'm going to add our text sheets. So we start from description, put it in here. We hide the title. And for the filter, we put it in here. So format center and for the border it will be in our color you can decrease description like this okay all right now we add the remaining so we have the season, then we have the episode, the year, duration in minutes, total stars, and total votes. So I'm going to readjust that. We hide title, hide title, same thing in here, same thing, same thing, and same thing. We rearrange the size, same thing for this one, and kind of put it like that. Same thing for this one, put it in here, and we change the size. 
ok all right one more thing that we can do is apply to worksheets selected worksheets and we are going to select all the text sheets season ok so now when we select the presentation mode we get our final dashboard for friend series and when we change our title we can see that different text sheets are changing depending on the title so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial